What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the new Silverado XT1 and why this truck might just make the Ram TRX look like a kid's toy. Maybe. If you're new to the channel or maybe you're just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly news and updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so I think before we get right into the Silverado XT1, we need to first talk about this truck right here, the Ford Raptor. Because the Ford Raptor first was brought to market by Ford in 2010, sort of a successor to the SVT Lightning, but off-road focused, of course, instead of the street-focused truck that we had in the past with the Lightning. And the Raptor, although people were a bit skeptical at first, was a massive hit. If you're watching this video, I don't think I need to tell you that. Still today, 12 years later, the Raptor continues to be a massive success for Ford. And up until recently, the Raptor was sort of in a class all by itself, with nothing from any other manufacturer to compare it to. So pretty much, if you were shopping for a Raptor, you were only shopping for a Raptor. Now, that doesn't mean we didn't get, of course, yearly rumors about GM bringing a Raptor competitor to market that never came to fruition, and why GM never made that really happen, I will never understand. But on August 17th of 2020, Ram finally stepped up to the plate and announced, of course, the TRX, a Hellcat-powered 702-horsepower behemoth that took not just the truck world by storm, but the automotive world as a whole, because the world was finally getting a truck to compete with the Raptor. And I think everyone was happy about it. Well, almost everybody. If you're a GM guy like me, this news might have made you even more upset that GM hadn't just given you an LT4-powered pickup truck yet. I mean, I mean, seriously. I don't know why GM has slept on this idea. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be one of the great mysteries of the world for years to come. So there we were now going into 2021. We've got Ford's Raptor. We've got now Ram's TRX. And then GM teased us with the upcoming Silverado ZR2, all kind of at the same time. And many people, myself included, thought that the super truck war was really about to kick off. We were about to jumpstart. You know, we had the old muscle car era. Well, we were about to get into the off-road super truck era. And the ZR2, that was going to be the one. But when the ZR2 was finally revealed to us, although undeniably an amazing truck, it just wasn't in the same league as the TRX and the Raptor. What are we going to do on the GM side of things? Well, here comes a company called Black Lake Research and Development to the rescue. Shown first at SEMA 2021, the Black Lake's Silverado XT1 doesn't just take the platform to the next level. It pretty much takes it to the level after that one. According to Black Lake, quote, it's the truck you've always wanted. Developed in Detroit, the Black Lake XT1 seamlessly merges OE design, engineering, and function with the best of the off-road world. A fully integrated wide body, massive 35-inch BFG tires, a custom five-link rear suspension, and all new front and rear bumpers for improved approach and departure angles are just the tip of the iceberg. With Black Lake, even the details have details. This is a truck built for the true enthusiast. This is not a mall crawler. This is not a set of wheels and tires on a leveled pickup. This is a completely integrated, fully functional, off-road masterpiece. This is the giant fireball in the sky ready to end the reign of the dinosaurs yet again. Now, I was stoked when I heard about this thing, and there's some good news and there's some bad news, but let's just start with the good. The wide body setup on this truck looks phenomenal. Fenders and bedsides are actually built from carbon Kevlar. We've got composite bumpers that are steel reinforced and the hood extractor is carbon titanium. We spared no expense. The front suspension of the X-T1, we've got three inch double adjustable bypass coilovers, lantern mark hydraulic shocks, billet 7075 lower control arms matched up with steel uppers and high angle upper ball joints, giving us a total of 11.8 inches of front suspension travel. Yes. Out back, we have Black Lake's five-length rear suspension system with horizontal watts link, a 4130 TIG welded trailing arm, three-inch double adjustable bypass coilovers, and lantern mark hydraulic shocks giving us, get this, 17.5 inches of travel. Just great, just crazy. Of course, things don't end there because under the hood, we've got a Magnuson Lingenfelter supercharger on top of the 6.2 liter V8, giving us 650 wheel horsepower that plays you an absolute symphony through the Borla stainless steel exhaust system. 
Blacklight was able to dial in this incredible build using HP Tuner's unlocked ECU along with their VCM suite software and MPV12 Plus interface device. In addition to all that, we've also got a CCI steel drive shaft, GeForce Performance Engineering HD half shafts, 373 front and rear gears, along with a rear locking e-diff. And it continues. Wheels on the XT1 are 17 by 9.5 black rhino bead locks wrapped in 35 by 1250 BFGs. I mean, this thing is just no joke. And there's plenty of additional accessories like winches, power steps, skid plates, and rigid LED light bars as just icing to this cake. Blacklight promises exclusivity with the X-T1 and ensures that you'll never hear somebody say, my buddy has one of those, because each X-T1 is built specifically for you, the buyer. It's the ultimate long travel wide body GM truck straight from Detroit without coming straight from GM. Let's be honest. This thing is far beyond the capabilities of any factory truck currently available. Raptor, TRX, it, it doesn't really matter. The bad part, however, is that because this is such a bespoke high-performance build, it also comes with a bespoke high-performance build price. Guesses before I give it out to you? Guesses. Closest one wins not, I got nothing to give away, but closest one wins something, I'll give you something. Uh, starting price point at around $250,000. Not cheap. So chances are pretty good that this isn't something that you or I are probably going to be putting in our driveways anytime soon, but that doesn't mean that we can't look at this thing and appreciate it from afar and drool just a little bit. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the X-T1. And as always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you can do me a huge favor, you made it this far in the video, if you could just help me out in a huge way by just smashing that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, don't miss any of my weekly content. Be sure to check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs. If you're looking for a Sierra or a Silverado and you don't want to pay over MSRP, be sure to check out martysbuickgmc.com or martys-chevy.com where you will never ever be charged over MSRP. Thanks again for watching guys and take care.